guess who finished the Sew Together Challenge on time this month? That's me. <laughs> I am so excited to share with you all the things about this pattern, the fabric, how it came together, and some tips and tricks that I discovered along the way. If you're new here, hello, I am Lindsay. I sew all my own clothes and I am glad you found me. Be sure to introduce yourself in the comments so that I can give you a formal welcome. And for everyone watching, be sure to like this video so that other people will see it. Videos highlighting my makes and sewing pattern reviews go up every week. I already have dozens for you to watch if you want a little binge. Check out the playlist in the top right corner of your screen. It opens in a new tab so you don't lose your place here. All right, let's get into this make. This is the Love Notions Tranquil Night Set. For the Sew Together Challenge, my Instagram followers are presented with four patterns within the same category, and they vote on the one we will all be making for the month. For February, the theme was pajamas slash loungewear, and the Tranquil pattern won the vote by a landslide. Honestly, it's really easy to see why. This pattern has uh, four patterns in one. It has a top, a dress, pants, and shorts. And the top has two sleeve options, short and long. The top uh, dress and pants also have this really sweet crossover detail highlighted with either foldover elastic, pico trim, or binding. As you can see, I made the short sleeve top and shorts combo and opted for the contrast binding for the trim. I usually use stash fabric for the Sew Together Challenge, but I didn't really have anything in my stash that was perfect for this make. The pattern calls for lightweight knits with drape, and since I was also making the top and shorts, I needed a pretty decent amount of yardage. So instead of using my stash, I went shopping. I ended up checking out June and Lou, a new-to-me online fabric shop. Turns out they've only been around for about a year, so I'm not that late to the party. Their selection is really beautiful. They specialize in European fabrics, have a ton of organic options, and everything seems to be mostly natural fibers, which I think is really important whenever you're making pajamas. And this doesn't necessarily apply to this make, but one thing that I noticed that they do that I love is that they offer ribbing that perfectly matches their French terry selection. And they indicate this in the listing of the French terry. So you can see exactly what you need to get that perfect sweatshirt where the body matches the neckband and wristbands and uh, hembands exactly. They also, uh, for every fabric, indicate which Guterman thread colors matches the fabric as well. So it's just one less thing that you have to worry about finding a matching thread. Some other things I love that they do is they include the weight of each fabric in the listing so you can get an, a better idea of how it might perform. Um, again, not super important for this make, but if you're going to make jackets or anything like that, I think it would be really helpful to know the weight of each fabric. And that's not something that all online retailers do. So I liked to see that. And something I don't think I've ever seen before, but they also indicate how much the fabric is expected to shrink when you wash it. So you know if you need to buy a little extra or not. I love that. For my pajamas, I wanted to try some print mixing. Since June and Lou makes it so easy to match up fabrics, I first decided I need to narrow down the selection by fabric type. Of the options they had, I chose to go with Jersey Knit. I knew it being mostly cotton would give me that comfy t-shirt feel, be cool enough to sleep in, and would hold up to lots of washing and wearing. For the prints, I had a really hard time with this. I initially wanted to go with the clouds because like clouds, dreaming, sleep, you get the idea. But I was worried that the color wouldn't be my favorite, that like, I don't know, tan background. So instead, I decided on the lily print as kind of like one of my main prints. Then from there, I knew I wanted one of the seed prints. I was just thinking like florals and dots and they would be a good contrast and ultimately decided on the rose color to call out the pink and the lilies as well. And finally, I threw in some of this solid green just for the binding. I had no idea 
how I was going to use each fabric when I ordered them. So I just ordered enough of each to give me some yardage to play around with. When I got them, I realized pretty quickly that I wanted the main part of the top to be the floral and the shorts to be the dots. From there, it was just a matter of cutting the accent pieces and the sleeves and the binding from all the options and kind of throwing them on my dress form to see which one I liked best. You can see here the three options that I had. Ultimately, I'm so glad I went through this extra step because if I hadn't, I'm not sure I would have thought to cut each sleeve out of a different fabric. The asymmetry that that creates is just so unique. Certainly not something you would see in ready to wear. And the whole section of the bodice that's the dot print really ties in nicely with the shorts. I used my fast fit worksheet to determine sizing as always. I knew I'd be playing around with the sizes a little since I chose a more stable fabric. The jersey from June and Lou is so soft and holds its shape with just the right amount of drape, but I didn't want my night set to turn out too boxy, so I figured I'd be a little bit flexible with the wearing ease. The pattern calls for three inches of ease in the bust, four inches of ease in the waist, and three and a half inches in the hip. I knew I'd need less ease in the top altogether and that I could make it a little bit more fitted. My measurements also fell in between sizes, uh, pretty much all the way down, bust, waist, and hip. So I was pretty comfortable sizing down in the bust and the waist. I ended up sizing down one size in the bust and also one size in the waist for the top. And then I sized down two sizes in the hip of the top. The top doesn't actually extend all the way to my full hip. So I was really basing that off of my high hip measurement. For the shorts though, I ended up cutting the size that corresponded to my measurements with the full amount of ease. And then I just graded to the next smallest size for the waist knowing I could make the waist of the shorts a little bit smaller with the elastic if I needed to. As you can see, the bust is very fitted, but the waist and hip of the top are nice and relaxed while also not being too boxy. And the waist of the shorts fits comfortably while the leg opening is just roomy enough. Now, if I'm gonna be picky, I'm gonna say that there are some fitting issues with the shorts. There are some drag lines pointing to my seat apex, meaning the hip is still a little bit too small. And there's also some extra fabric at the front crotch. But considering that these are pajamas, I'm okay with these small fitting issues. I also wanna point out that the bicep of this pattern is pretty close fitting. Um, they do provide finished garment measurements for the bicep. So if you don't like things to fit super close on your arm, especially when sleeping, um, be sure to double check this against your own bicep measurement. You can do a full bicep adjustment. They're really easy to do. Do not be intimidated by them at all. As for the actual construction of this pattern, it comes together super quickly um, and easily, which is no surprise since Love Notion patterns are always so well put together. But I do have some thoughts about a few things. First, pay close attention to how many of each piece you need. The main bodice, for example, you only need to cut one of those unless you are not sewing the accent, in which case you need two mirror images. Now with that, I'm also going to say I cannot imagine the bodice with two layers of fabric. Maybe if I had made it out of something like bamboo rayon, but two layers of most any fabric is going to be too much for sleeping. So I'd suggest always using the accent piece. And if you don't want it to be contrast, just cut it out of the, the same fabric as the rest of your bodice. The binding was really straightforward to sew, but if you've ever cut a narrow piece of jersey before, you know the raw edges like to curl up, which makes it really hard to manage. I found a new product and decided this was the perfect time to give it a try. I'll be back with another video soon to talk more about it and kind of show you guys how it works. But I used the Spray and Bond Fabric Stiffener. It got the fabric to lay flat and hold its shape, which made sewing the binding so much easier. This is also really important if you're worried about your neckline stretching out. I think that this product would help uh, prevent that as well. 
Did you notice that there aren't any side seams on the shorts? I love that. It's especially nice when you're sewing with stripes or directional fabric since you won't have to worry about matching anything along that side seam. After making this version, I have enough of the solid green to make another pair of shorts. I also have enough of the lilies to make another top. So it's very likely I'll have two identical sets of these pajamas, but that's perfectly fine by me. The pattern is easy to sew, fits me well, and the fabric is an absolute dream, no pun intended, to wear. <laughs> I've already worn them to sleep and have no complaints, not to mention I can roll right out of bed and go get the mail or a package or take the girls for a walk without looking like an absolute slob who just rolled out of bed. <laughs> so awesome. I've got a ton of links in the description box. The pattern with a coupon code that's good until the end of February the exact fabrics that I used, the fabric stiffener, and the fast fit worksheets. Be sure to give that space a glance before you go. But I've also linked to my most recent Sew Together make, the Style Arc Freya. So if you haven't seen that video yet, click on the bottom right corner of your screen and it'll take you right there. But that is going to do it for me today, y'all. From me and Honey and Biscuit, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very soon. Bye!